guys, welcome to the Boogeyman. This one has voice acting, I believe, so I won't have to read stuff. You guys have to suffer. I can't even talk in the beginning. Wow. Let's just start. This is a horror game that contains scares and grotesque content, so refrain from playing if you feel like you can't handle it. So you guys obviously refrain from watching it if you feel like you can't handle it. I never got the credits. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Forget everything about this game. I will not skip. Uh, your phone. Your phone's ringing. Are you asleep? No, no. I was just thinking. About what, sir? How's the suspect doing? Still not out yet. It's been three hours, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. But man. Really not gonna answer? I'll call back later. Man, Keith, do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was groaning about it, you know? Wondering what's even the point in calling you. Ah, sir, he's coming out. Uh oh. What? He's got a woman behind him. I think she came in after. You think she's with him? This isn't good. I won't be able to arrest a guy like this. Let's go. I'll squad B and C. We'll get him in that alley up ahead. I'm gonna turn up the volume just because I feel like it's not loud enough. Hold on a second, sir. She might be a civilian. We should really wait until he's alone. And are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. Oh boy. Tis me. Police tyranny strikes again. The cold, ruthless detective shoots down yet another criminal. Civilian woman, forever traumatized. We tried to ask Keith Baring, the detective responsible, to shed us some more light. But he stood at the station entrance, smoking a cigarette, and told us this. The visitor's entrance is that way. Seems that he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. Well, what do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. Reporters, am I right? I can read gossip myself. I don't need you reading it out loud. Chief, you're a real hit with these guys. This is the fourth article by my count. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me in for. I've got good news. I'm giving you a vacation. A month, in fact. You have a big belly. Not a chance. There's no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him. And stretch your wings a bit. Dick, I'm telling you, there's no way. I'm ordering you as your superior. If you don't want to travel, consider it house arrest instead. You aren't fit to bear the brunt of the media. I can handle the rest real well. So, go on. Take a break from the crime scene. Hey, but I didn't say you have to twiddle your thumbs at home for a month, right? Here's a little present. There's this old castle they're promoting as a tourist spot. There's a sort of test run tour two weeks from now. Truth is, me and the wife were gonna go, but I say you do it. How many years has it been for you two? Helena will be ecstatic. Now, put down the gun and the notebook. We'll need them on vacation, right? We never know. Go home for today. You can hand over your work tomorrow. Just one thing. Enough of the blaring music here in the hallway. Welcome home. How was work? Same as usual. You look tired. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh, yes. 
I get a fantastic present for Mr. Anderson's wife. You sound like Bimo. Look at these, honey. Two invitations. A three-day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Why do you sound like Bimo? Dick already told me. Gave me some time off for it, too. Well, if you aren't too tired, I'd like to go myself. If oh, you're going, sorry. then I'm going. I'll tell our travel agent. Thanks, honey. I can't wait. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Good night. Good night. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was the scene. Let's go in here. I'm assuming it's you. No? Okay. You? Thanks. Whoops. Now that you two are here, all Damn. the attendees Sorry, are Sorry, I present. skipped it. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. Sorry, Steady. I skipped your first dialogue. Ship. The five hour trip to the island should go by no time. I'm going to go introduce myself to the others. What about you? I'll head out later. You go in. Alright. Oh, okay, me. Traveling bag, double bed, anything in the fridge. It's nice. It's brandy. Okay. Yeah. Don't just swing the door open like that. Sophie. Careful. That is Sophie, right? It's got me. Try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young lady. Maybe you should look where you're going yourself, old man. Nasty tongue on you, huh? You bet. I was born with it. You're Sophie, right? Hey, You're Sophie! What are you doing? This guy almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. The door's kind of in, though. You said something weird to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. But, Papa... Sophie? I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Come on, you're like 17 now, right? The hell? Old man. Me, me. Come on, Papa. Let's get some ice cream at the lounge. Your dad's older than me. He's the old man. My apologies for that. Is she your daughter? Yes. She's my one and only precious. Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh, yes. She's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. The excitement is one thing. But you should try to get her to stop yelling at people over a little near collision. If she talks to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. <laughs> You're very right. But I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. I'm Richard Grundler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. Keith Berry. Did you come alone? No, with my wife. Oh, wonderful. I hope you both have a great trip. Well, excuse me. Didn't her dad have black hair? How much older is this? Okay, well, there's nothing that way. I guess I'm going with you. Okay, there you two are. Hey, I know you. But you're my wife's Keith, this is Shirley. I know. Keith, nice to meet you. I'm Shirley Weber. Same. She came here with her husband. Oh, yes. Where is he now? He told me he went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. I will go see okay, Arnold. Hey, what's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Oh, let me guess. You're with the men in black? Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses. Or a neuralizer. <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? 
David, what is your voice? Need a light? Thanks. Nice weather today, don't you agree? Sure is. To tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship. It's really exciting for me. I'm just glad it's so nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking on the deck here if it were raining. Keith Barrett, detective. David Hoover. Detective, huh? Very cool. I always like to watch those police dramas. But why the suit? Old habits. Never been on a ship except for the job. Did you come alone? No. I came with my wife. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. What happened to Paul? Came down with something. He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. Paul. So I invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation often. The bundlers? Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. Enjoy yourself in their place, then. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. Everybody's here. I don't know who you are. Keith Barry. Who could have guessed I'd be graced by the presence of the tabloid star? You sound familiar. I'm Lance Canal. So what brings you here? Murder on the ship? Or are you gonna cause one yourself, detective? Must have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. These tabloids who rag on you come from the same publisher I work for. That's all it is. I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for publicity. Photographer. Don't you worry. I don't take pictures for any of those sleazy magazines. I'm just a photographer for a humble travel magazine. Not like I'm one of those paparazzi guys. Still, don't have to take pictures to get material. I can make some good money passing things on to my gossip writing colleagues. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be watching. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to look up who's voice acting people. <laughs> so she's 17 in this one, the last one. Edge 18 in the next one. Okay. Oh my gosh! Look at the size of that! It's fantastic! It really is! I can't wait to take a look inside. Man, it's like the kind of place there'd be a murder case on an old cop show. Oh, stop being such an oddball. Is it really just us? <laughs> telling us we have to camp out in front for this tour. That's odd. I'm sure I told him when we'd arrive. Hold on a moment. Hello? It's Stevie from NA Travel. Hello? Brendan, are you there? Brendan, Harry. Okay, they're here. Is everybody ready? Nigel, your tie's crooked. Fix it. Mitch, your hair's a mess. Matt, your glasses, uh, well, they're still lame. <laughs> right. Time to greet the guests. Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. Stevie, I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leading them here. And thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce the... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. Mr. Lance, the Grumblers, Mr. David, and Mrs. Shirley, and last but not least, the Bearings. So you came and sent the Andersons. <laughs> what a delight. Young guy, you take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long boat ride. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. It'll be a while until dinner, so make yourself at home. Okay. Keith, look. The view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. Where are we? <laughs> you remember when we went to France and you... Oh, boy. 
shouldn't you answer that? It's Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. I wonder what the others are up to. I'll go take a look. Are you coming, honey? Not right now. Later. Okay. this oh boy I'm gonna get lost okay okay so Lance says here Room. Kitchen. Dining room. Brewery. Mm. Oh, it's quiet in here. Bookshelves, little books. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait. <laughs> Can I move this? The plan is to tour the castle in the morning, then go around town in the afternoon. The car will be here to pick us up at one. Ah, so what time does it make lunch? Twelve seems good to me. All right, I'll tell the employees. Sup? Hi, Mr. Baring. Are you enjoying yourself? Take a look anywhere. I don't mind. I know, I know. It's a terribly large place. Stevie. Oh, Mr. Baring, here's the menu for dinner tonight. Anything that needs changing? Any allergies? My wife won't eat meat. Can you change the main course? The entire main course? Just something else. Tell the cook. Will she be alright with fish? That's still meat. And how okay. about dessert? You have your choice of cheesecake, cheesecake, grass jelly, or creme brulee. Cheesecake. What kind of cheesecake is it? Rare. What? Hmm. She would have liked a baked one. Make it creme brulee then. And tea for after the meal. Chamomile if you can. I'll have to see. Certainly, sir. <laughs> you know your wife's taste so well. Personally, I'm so forgetful. The other day, I brought some Casablancas home for her, and she told me she hated them. Just have to remember every little detail for next time. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, everybody. Lost again. Oh, we're playing cards. You're awful at this. It's getting a bit boring. No, you're just too good. Your poker face, especially. Yeah, it, it sounds like he's in a room. Help that you're grinning or grimacing at every hand. Am I right or what, Helena? <laughs> it's really quite cute, though. May I join? May, may I join? Would you like to play Keith? I'll pass. Ah, <sighs> uh, too bad. I have a feeling you're great at poker. Honey, how about playing poker with us, honey? Nah, I'm fine. I just can't win. Glad I'm not betting any money. Okay. Wait, there's room here. Okay. Wow, even this hall is huge. You could hold a dance here. Now that would be nice. Perhaps we should have brought some nice dresses for you. Hey, Lance, take a picture of me and Papa, will you? Eh? Sorry, I, I don't do people. Ask a friend if you want a photo, Missy. <laughs> Cheapo. Yo, detective, out of the frame. I got a job to do here, you know. Sure, I'm on the side of you. About your work. Don't need any pics of you. Thought I told you I'm not a gossip kind of guy. This really is quite the impressive castle. No doubt it'll draw many tourists once it's opened up. Why, I could even see it being used as a movie set. What is it, Mr. Keith? Don't play around on the stairs like that. You'll trip and fall. Oh, thanks for the concern. 
Not to worry, old man. I will cause you the trouble. That'd be appreciated, young lady. Okay, piano dude. So it's okay, he's playing piano. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is just the same way, okay. And then this is just back to this, okay. What do I have on me? Let's look safe. What do I have on me? I have cigarettes, cell phone, and a lighter. Can't do anything, okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> what is the point? I talked to everyone, didn't I? Hmm. Oh, okay. Can I go past you? No. Okay. Hey. Well, not sure what else to do, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying me not having to talk as much to voice things, it's much nicer to be able to hear people's voices. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.